How y'all doing? I'm Justin Waddle. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today we're going to show y'all the proof that it is not me teaching y'all this, but the Holy Spirit that's inside of me, that dwells inside of me, the one who showed me all this numerical value of the world and compared it to the biblical knowledge of God, the one who showed me all the scripture, and the one who is leading me through this situation right now. So, so a couple days ago we did a video about Ashby's funeral home, which shows you clearly on this sign that there's seven words to it. That means completion. A funeral home is a completed life. You know what I mean? You know what the Holy Spirit's talking about? Watch this. Ashby's funeral home, pre-arrangement and burial insurance. Now here's your proof that it was not me teaching you all the numerical value, okay, of God's numbers. Because let's talk about pre-planning is obviously not a sign about pregnancy tests or, or talking about pregnancies, okay? I thought it was a, a, a young girl's, let's talk about pre-planning pregnancy. Let's don't get pregnant today or, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's my, that's not my spiritual side. That's my fleshly side that was teaching you all that, okay? I didn't understand what the sign was talking about. I just put it to God's numbers. We're still lined up to about the same thing. It's still grace, you know? But here's how it really shows out. So it's two means division, double for your trouble. This is obviously talking about pre-planning for your, for your funeral arrangements. Not a pregnancy test. So now that we got my flesh out the way, let's continue to proceed through this video. All right, so let's go over some numerical value of, uh, of the numbers three and two uh, in the Bible that we have not mentioned yet. So you got the prodigal son, okay? You got the father, you got the, the good son, the one who got mad about the fatty calf, you know? And then you got the prodigal son, the one who comes home, the one who is directed back to his father, you understand? By his mischief and his, and his ways of, of, of a sinful nature, if you will. So, so here's how you look at that by the numerical value. God is the father. He's number one. Then you got the, the Christians out here who, who act like they're better and holier than now, the prodigal son's brother. Then you got me, okay? Then you got the prodigal son. You understand? Okay, so three means direction. The third person is directed back to the family. Now two means division. Okay, so you got the father and the, and the good son, but the second person, always going to be the second person, He's the vision, right? Why haven't you slaughtered me, a fatted calf, Father? Have I not weaned all your, gleaned all your uh, uh, crop and blah, 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 blah? He gets mad about it. That's clearly division. But then the Father tells him to go out and do all this stuff. Okay? He goes out and tells him to do all this stuff and to get the fatted calf ready because the son has returned home. So that's double for your trouble. Okay? Double for your trouble. Now, there's another story. It's called First Kings chapter 13. It's a, it's a king. Then there's a, a man of God. Okay? The man of God is a healer. Okay? The king tells the man of God, uh, tells his people to, to captive the man of God, and the man of God withers his hand away. When, when, it, when, when the king touches the man of God, his hand withers. So the king begs him. He says, uh, uh, will you please restore my hand, you know? Well, the man of God is a healer. He has the true powers of the Holy Spirit that healed this man's hand. It restored it back to normal. So the king asks him if he wants to eat at his table. The man of God says, no. Uh, God told me not to eat or drink or return to where I come from. Three things. Don't eat it or drink. Or return to where you come from. Okay? So the king asks him again. He says the same thing. Two means division. The man of God left the king's presence. Okay? But then you got a false prophet comes along. Directs him. Okay? The false prophet says that, that God's there's an angel of God told him that he could return and eat at the king's table. So he does. But then the God, the prophet, the false prophet gets a, a message from God. It's, oh my God, you, you weren't supposed to do this. I'm sorry. Don't do this. But the man of God never repented. 
So because he, he returned to his own vomit but never repented after receiving the true powers of the Holy Spirit that healed that man's hand, but he didn't repent for his problems that the Lord told him not to go back to, it says at the end of the story that a lion slewed the man, he slayed the man, and the ass and a car and the lion stood next to the carcass. So two mean division, a lion and an ass stood next to the carcass. There's your power three. Okay? So in my first video walking around town 47 minutes, that one, uh, there was three signs. It was my favorite three signs because it was the first power three direction I ever seen in my life on the sign situation. So it was these two signs, but it had another one. Okay? And it had three sections. Right? With three arrows, right? Well, this is how four means change. So, God changed the man they wrote four Gospels, okay? Samson got tempted three times. On the fourth time, he told his true powers and changed back to a regular man. Job's three friends and his wife tried to change him into a sinner. Lazarus was dead three days. The fourth day, he changed from being dead to alive. Okay, you got Daniel's three friends and the fourth looking like the Son of God. They didn't fall to the temptations of eating at the king's table. With the three same temptations in Daniel chapter 3 with the three friends for direction, they didn't bow to that man. So they got to walk out of the fire in chapter 4. They changed. Okay? Well, this is how you see change in your signs, in your road signs. Watch this. So it used to be three signs. One, two, three. But then they had to switch it up and put all this other stuff on here. So here, let's look. Step back and pan out and, and take a look at what we got going on here. First of all, these three, ch these three signs changed to one, two, three, four. Now there's four signs on there. Okay. Okay, the first sign is completion. Welcome city of Bitten, chamber of conference. Okay. The second sign, one, two, three, four, five, six. The world revolves around three sixes and nines. Nikola Tesla was right. The threes and sixes sometimes changes, but the nine never changes, he says. Nikola Tesla's documentary said the nine never changes. The reason why the nine never changes is because once you get the nine fruits of the Spirit and the nine gifts of the Spirit, you will become in spiritual completeness. Therefore, you won't need nothing else. You'll be fully completed by then, okay? Okay, I'm on the last fruit of the Spirit, which is self-control. It's been a doozy. Please pray for me, okay? So... Let's go down here. We're going to proceed on further down the road because we're going to walk around here around the side of Walmart. Let's go down here first. We've got our two means division, but double for your trouble. Every time it's two means division, double for your trouble, there will be two things on the sign and two things for double for your trouble. You ready? So you got first security. First security. Division. Parking arrow. But watch this. One, two, three. That's the direction. That's your direction. See, Nikola Tesla thought that, that the other numbers were just there. You know, they, they, he makes a mark where it swivels like this. Okay? And if you're in the triangle, the three, six, and nines, you're in the spiritual realm, which is where we're at right now. But here's the beauty of it. Nikola Tesla didn't realize that the biblical numeric values of God and what he calls them, he didn't realize that you couldn't have three for direction if you didn't have two for division. Because you can't get to three without two. Okay, so all the numeric values are important. Let's see here. First security, bank better. First security, bank better. Division, you see how the space? Did you see the space between them? Division, but you get your money there. It's double for your trouble. I mean, this is common sense, y'all. And, and, and for somebody as 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 illiterate and I mean, I can't even hardly spell, y'all. It's very embarrassing most of the time. Some of the words I try to pronounce. Uh, me and my friends call them waddle words. Okay, uh, waddle words. We we make up my own words because I really thought those were words. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see here. Welcome to Hurstfield Insurance. All right. Welcome to Hurstfield Insurance. Watch this. Boom. Welcome to Hurstfield Insurance. Right? Four means change. 
welcome you're here one two three four five five means grace in the bible okay david had five stones when he went up against goliath you got uh, uh john chapter five there's a well called Bethsaida. verse two says uh it's a five ports well and verse five is who the who the grace is for paraplegic man you got g-r-a-c-e so five means grace what's this we care about your business well they care about your business that means you're gonna have grace praise god somebody cares around this world these days watch this this is so beautiful watch this okay the prodigal son the dad the good son the prodigal son you got it and he received grace get it one two three four five parts to the sign you got here two means division two words divide between two words so you see a lot of these signs consist of a lot more than just one number okay sometimes you'll have five three four and one on a sign well here we have three for direction two for double feet trouble division double feet trouble and you got five for grace you got three numbers on this sign alone if you see it that way you're gonna see God's names to the numbers he calls them they're not numbers Okay, they're not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They are to a fleshly standard. But if you have Romans 8, 6, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, you'll definitely see the numbers the way God sees them. So let's look. You got drive through, division. Here's your division. One way, double for your trouble. It's letting you know two things. There's a drive through, and it's only one way. So that's double for your trouble. Then you got drive through direction okay but then you have drive through direction one way you'll receive grace if you don't come down the wrong way so let's continue on i'm trying to walk fast today these signs are spread out pretty far right now okay here's how four changes now this is five one two three four five okay here's five again here's a grace one two three four five you get grace one way division separated it's always going to be two words separated from the rest always two means division double for your trouble there's two parts of the sign to tell you do not enter for direction you see how all the numbers matter i mean they literally all matter and they're beautiful too it's amazing how he's been sitting right here right underneath our noses this whole time revealing himself this whole time i mean whole time now let's go back to the uh okay america when we come over to america you have the indians who were here first they smoked peyote and marijuana and things of that sort they lurked, looked and searched for the great spirit they're in unity okay the indians were in unity of this land they were the first ones but then you got the americans the christopher columbus he wasn't American right then. We ain't made it yet. So then you got Christopher Columbus, right? And the Americans who division, right? Because we, we split up between the Union and, and the Confederates. You understand? So two caused division. But then the Unions won and freed the slaves. The third people here. So you've got, you've got the Indians who were in unity with God at the United States of America. In God we trust then you had the British who come over here and made America and we split up two means division between the Union and the Confederates and then the Union freed the slaves you see how God's numerical value matters all the way back to God knows when because he's the one that made all this stuff all right so what's this here's two division Two different, two different uh, sets of signs here. Highway, interstate. You got two means division, but you got double for your trouble. So this is how you see a division double for your trouble in a positive situation. It's automatically going to be both of them in the situation. Okay? But then you have one, two, three for direction for interstate 30. And it's west interstate 30. Then you have one, two, three for direction to interstate east interstate 30 which is East Interstate 30, three words on that sign. 
But here's our four changes. You got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's four signs. Okay, that's four signs. It's changing from interstate to highway. Here's how you see your direction. Two, three. One, two, three. Okay, the four is changing. But here's another sign. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen in the Bible means salvation. So in Esther chapter nine, we're on the eighteenth verse, you'll see that it says they assembled on the thirteenth day. A thirteen means authority. The last video we stopped at twelve, so God wants you to learn about thirteen and fourteens now. So 13 uh, means authority. You got 12 disciples in Jesus, which was the authority figure. <clears throat> and then 14 means salvation in the Bible. So Esther and uh, all the group of uh, Hebrews, they, they assembled on the 13th day and the 14th day. Then it says they rested on the 15th day. Okay? So if they got to rest on the 15th day, they received salvation on the 14th day. You understand it? Okay, that's the easiest way the Holy Spirit revealed it to me. Uh, we're going to walk around this big old huge curve right now. So anyway, back there, there was 14 signs to show you four different ways to two highways and two interstates. So that's salvation for you, whichever way you want to go. Okay. We're coming up on a sign here. All right. World revolves around three, six, and nines. Here's the caution sign. You got six black stripes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have six black stripes. But watch this. There were seven yellow stripes. Maybe because the world is split up between dark and night, right? And light and, and, and day. Okay? So God used all that as a seed planter. You understand? The forces of darkness and goodness. Okay? There's only six black stripes, meaning darkness. Six is the world. It's bad. There was only six black ones, but there were seven yellow ones which prevailed over the darkness. Do you see how he plants seeds in us by the signs? Watch this. Two mean division. There's only two words on the sign. You can't go that way. Division. But you got two lanes to go. Double for your trouble. But then here, one, two, direction. The third thing will always be direction. It'll never change. Hebrews 13, 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the most amazing person I've ever seen in my life. Everything I look at now, I see God. Watch this. Two mean division. Double for your trouble. Two different ways of the sign. And there's three arrows. Direction. Okay. I mean, he's in everything. If you see him in everything, if you if you call out the name of the numbers to what he calls them, I promise you, you'll see him in everything. Watch this. Boom. You see that? One, two, three. Highway five is grace. It goes all the way through Arkansas. All the way through. The Highway 5 will take you all the way through Arkansas. That's grace. That's a long trip. We're, we're trying to chuck, I'm trying to chuck it right now because I'm trying to cover a lot of ground. See how far my signs are spread apart? I'm trying to get down here before I got to go to work. It's a beautiful Saturday. Yeah. I love all y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing and following the Holy Spirit, the true powers of the Holy Spirit that taught all us all this beautiful stuff. It's very beautiful. I promise y'all, if y'all just walk around here and look for this man, I promise you, he'll show us up to you. Watch this. Everett Chevrolet, find new roads. Find new roads at the bottom. And it's in three sections. Two mean division, but it's in three sections. So double for your trouble. Let's continue to walk. Remember a speed limit sign is twos, threes, and fours. Okay? Two mean division. There's only two words on there. And there's two numbers on there. Okay? But then you got it in three sections for your direction to slow down. 
from 55 to 45, and that's how you know it changes because speed limit 45. So you got, fuck out here so you can see the sun's beautiful right there. Okay, two main division. But here's your double for your trouble so you don't get a speeding ticket, you'll slow down to that. Then you got three means direction. One, two, three. Abraham saw what a sacrifice Isaac on the third day. Moses was hid for three months. Jonathan shot three arrows for David's direction. Okay? But here's how you see change. One, two, three, four. God changed me and the wrote four gospels. Yeah, this is simple mathematics, really. You learn all this stuff in school. Something I never graduated. Okay? So if I can do this stuff and diligently seek for this man, right? Because without faith you cannot please him. But you have to know that he's God. Uh uh. Without faith you cannot please him. But you have to believe that he is God and that he's a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. That's three things. Okay, man. Okay, here's one. Nookums, wrecker, and recovery. It changes you from being broke down on the road to being to your destination. And God gives you that, because here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is when God gives you something, all right? Uh, the other day I said uh, when he gives you what your heart desires, there'll be abundance of that number. But when he gives you something, it'll be ten. Because Rose, uh, Moses wrote the Ten Commandments. Uh, you got uh, the Egyptians had ten deadly plagues. The Pharaoh had ten hardened hearts. Daniel fasted for ten days. So that sign back there God gave you for help. Because it's a, it's a, a record company to come help you off the road. Okay, so God gives you that. Now watch this. Direction. Verona Italian restaurant. Three means direction. When you see a three like that, it's because they're trying to direct you to their business. Just like uh, Jesus was directed to the three crosses, or Christopher Columbus was directed to the USA, the red, white, and blue, with the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Same thing, same thing. Watch this. Direction, one, two, three. All right. Why is this only two? 